Hello. Hey, Piggly. Night. And everyone else. How's it going? So let's do some uh, Legend of Grimrock 2 now. I streamed the first game a few months ago. I don't know. This year, I think it was. <laughs> Anyways, and uh, I bought this uh, on a sale recently. And I've been really wanting to play the second game. So we'll hop in there and see how it goes. So let's start a new game. We are definitely creating characters. And normal difficulty is enough for me. Old school mode. Um, I like I, don't know, I like uh, mapping. Although, if I had two webcams, drawing the maps myself would be really epic, but nah. Iron Man and single use now. Well, just go with those. Streaming in like February? Yeah, so somewhere around there, I think as well. Normal. Uh, can I go back? What's the difference between normal? Monster damage, speed, aggressiveness. Cannot be changed. How hard is the heart? Any idea? Nah, I'm just gonna go with normal. Let's see. Oof, there's more classes now. Alchemist. Three potions and defend yourself building firearms. Ooh. Barbarian, battle mage, <laughs> farmer. Uh, no skill points. By eating food, experience what? Uh, feels like a challenge class to be honest. So hard you got stuck at one point due to being overwhelmed by multiple groups of enemies. Yeah. Isn't the challenge to the being Gary Rock? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm I'm doing normal definitely. Then, if I wanna play it again at some point, I'll get. I can try that. Fighter, close combat trained to use varied of weapons. Special attack to the melee weapons like half the time to build up. Ooh. A knight, armor and shield, protection per level. Weight of the armor, ooh, is reduced. Evasion bonus. Nice. Hey, Albert skin. Rogue. And a wizard. What's the difference between wizard and uh, battle mage? Front row. Can cast spells with bare hands. Then protection resist all when equipped with the magical staff or an orb. Weight of equipped armor is reduced by 50%. Huh? So, wizard gets more uh, willpower and energy, but battle mage is more tanky. Four wizards go. <laughs> uh. You're not a fan of the skill system revamp of Grimrock 2. Like the part in the Grimrock 1 more. I don't I don't even remember what it was. I, I do remember these. But how did they change that? Did you get any more sleep, Rayman? I know your, your uh, last night was not the best. So so was mine. I, I very rarely dream, and last night was just a insanity of dreams, just non-stop craziness. Four hours. Well, that's something at least. It's almost a good night's sleep for you. You you don't sleep that much, anyways. <laughs> no. It's always annoying when there's trouble sleeping. Uh, thankfully, it's getting uh, getting to autumn now, and uh, the stupid uh, midnight wind uh, something in Finland is going away, so I can actually sleep again without having to use any aid. 
they did something of that, I am certain. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So, I kind of want to have a knight. Kind of feels epic. So, 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 all of those guys. You guys are gonna be my prisoners, of course. August 1, first is a bad day for you. And I want to have a battle mage and an alchemist. So rogue as the next one. Hmm. One man rogue rango. Ooh. Something about skill scaling no longer 1 to 50 skill maybe and how many points you gain level to distribute. Yeah. Foreman farmer run. Barbarian rogue. Hmm. Is there any point taking rogue other than it's a rogue? I mean, do you even get any special abilities based on the class, other than what's stated there? I mean, you don't get like a special epic backstab with a rogue, just from leveling. Uh, I think it's from the weapons, like uh, leveling this. Yeah, the backstab comes from some there. Yeah, let's take a barbarian. Knight barbarian, uh, alchemist, and uh, battle mage. Rattling. Ooh. Specialized in poisons. Yeah. Let me let me flip this. So So Rogue gets dual building bonus and uh, critical hits per level. I guess that's nice. What's the barbarian? One strength per level. <laughs> hmm, and a lot of health. Is there a cheese eating class uh, for the Redman? I guess that's the far. Actually, yes, yes, there is, Wes. The farmer gets experience from eating, not from uh, killing monsters. So there is your cheese eating Redman. Class, I guess. So, what is the racial bonuses? Experience for human, plus strength, deck, minus dex, minus vitality, plus willpower. Chance of getting body parts injured is reduced by 50%. Oh. Lizard man. Dexterity will power. Resist all. Minotaur. Holy strength. Oof. I think our barbarian might have to be uh, a Minotaur. So, four farmers are doomed to fail, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should go uh, Minotaur farmers. Uh, so you get, get to eat uh, faster. So level up quicker. Or probably run out of food. 
Rattlings can get max max load. Ooh, immune to disease. Evasion, minus strength. Minus dexterity. Yeah, I think the caster will be a lizard man. No, no. Actually... Uh... I think the alchemist might be a lizard man. Since uh, they use uh, potions and firearms, I would imagine firearms take damage uh, bonus from uh, dexterity. Four farmers making food. <laughs> Alchemy. It's gonna be interesting to choose uh, what to level up for these guys as well. Challenge for me? Hmm. Well, at least we know the. Barbarian is gonna be Minotaur. I think he looks pretty damn mean. I think that's the guy. Actually, yeah. Accuracy evasion and uh, missile weapons. So you could be our lizard boy. Alchemist looks like a rogue. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, change this yet. He's not gonna be a Ratman Knight as well. I kinda like this one and this one. He looks too mean. I think that's the Alchemist Lizard Man. Show insect types? Yeah. Actually, uh, I'll probably make the Paddle Mage Insectoid, because it gets uh, more willpower. Holy... That's pretty mean. That more looks more like a Lobster Man to me than uh, the Insect, to be honest. If that's not a Lobster Man from XCOM 2, I don't know what is. Go with this one. This looks like a very mage like. Has a high color and everything. <laughs> I don't want to do a human team uh, half done skin. I, li I like these alternative races. And I'm gonna play on normal. So I guess I have to buy my own next come too. So knight uses shields and uh, armor. That minus four strength is not good. Because the knight has to be a human. Everything else, actually. Hmm. A Lizardman Knight would actually be not too bad because of the resistances and the uh, dexterity. What does Will Bower do actually? Increases resistance uh, and energy regeneration. Hmm. Such a weird group. <laughs> Why not? Hmm. 
Does night uh, actually require um, uh, energy for anything, really? Actually, this, isn't this also for the melee abilities? Hmm. Should we go human or uh, blizzard man? I would like a good, I would like a rat man, rattling to be honest, but the minus strength is kind of nasty. What does Minotaur? Uh, Billion strength and vitality, and no dex or willpower, and it's like crazy. Human. Um, I'm actually almost thinking that I should uh, make the knight into lizard man and make the alchemist into rattling. Make a build that doesn't need a strength, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, this guy, the lizard uh, alchemist dude, if he's using guns, firearms, he doesn't need a strength actually for those, he's using a dexterity for that. So he could be a rattling instead. For evasion, dex, max load, and immune to diseases. And if uh, we make this guy into a lizard boy, then so it will be totally strange. I think that's. That's gonna be our uh, fabulous lizard knife. Oh shit, these are <laughs> amazing. Best race ever. Oof. I think I'm going with this. I mean, come on. It's a cute rat with a long hair. A blonde hair, even. It's like the only possible choice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. Let's see. Those are some nice resistances. Immediately. Chicken. That's not a rattling. That's a spy. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Oh, mutation. Ooh. Holy. What? And your elements, plus all resistances. And Lizardman starts with already 25% resistances. Yeah, this is a Minotaur. These are the Minotaur options here. Plus 4 damage, plus dexterity, plus energy, plus protection. So, what? why would I take the cold blooded if I can take the endure elements? Well, if I'm not lizard, I guess. Resist fire. I 
maximum carrying capacity by 25 and full consumption rate is decreased. Hmm. Evasion. Hmm. Actually, uh, four humans with fast learner on everyone could be really good. That is very nice as well. Plus one strength for each skull carried. Poison immunity. Oh, cooldown for insect. That is actually really good uh, for a caster, so we can uh, spam spells quicker. Rage. That is nice. <laughs> Skilled. Extra skill point at first level. Power and health. Who wants to be a human in a virtual world when there are other options? Yep. Um, well, I, I think we should go for the NGR elements, at least. Having uh, like almost 50% resistance on any, everything on level 1 on our tank character is actually pretty nice. So, what else would be nice? I'm almost thinking about this uh, fast metabolism for the Lizard Knight. Because he would regenerate faster and he would heal a shit ton as well. So basically he, he can carry the team by tanking even more. Um, the hamster guy will just keep him potioned up doing alchemy. Sixty health. How much vitality gives a uh, So two, uh, one point of vitality gives you 5 HP and poison resistance and health regen rate. Hey TF, it is, it's going good, it's going good. It might be best for a Minotaur, uh, but I cannot take the metabolism for a Minotaur because it's a lizard man special. I'm gonna go with the metabolism. Yeah, it's only for the lizards. Uh, let's do the stats in a moment. I'll just do uh, trades for everyone. This is very, 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 very tempting. Although it's so dependent if I actually find those uh, skulls and how many how many skulls there is in the whole game. I know, Underclan. I know. Maybe we should take the like endurance for the Minotaur so he can carry carry all the shit and uh, lower the consumption rate.
Yeah, I think something like that, uh, Dr. Dodo. Although, if you play a Barbarian Minotaur and you don't take the Headhunter, I think you're playing the game wrong. So we, we have to take one of those. Call it a flavor trait. Natural armor is uh, free protection. Actually, might be nice uh, for a barbarian. Holy accuracy. <laughs> Aggressive is uh, plus four damage, yes. Kind of like the natural armor idea. Yeah, yeah, I know, underclan. Minus eight accuracy is pretty horrible. <laughs> This is tempting as well for the Minotaur, so it doesn't eat like a cow. So it basically puts the Minotaur eating the normal. Swing and pray, yeah. I'm gonna go with the natural armor, I like the extra protection. Let's see, hamster boy. So he's gonna be using uh, alchemy and uh, basically firearms. So he needs uh, dexterity and I don't know alchemy, whatever. Look at the HP on the cow. Holy. 100 HP. Uh, what, I, what I did in the first game, I pretty much had uh, healthy on... Uh, not healthy, the... Tough on every character. For a lot of health on everything. 20 was quite a ni nice bonus. For everyone. Especially casters. So I might take tough uh, on uh, casters again. Also the rattling mutation. It sounds fun, but it's probably not that good, to be honest. Especially because it's totally random. Unless you uh, save scum and make a mega rattling with all the stats. Evasive is uh, evasion. He's gonna be in the background uh, most of the time, so he doesn't need that much evasion, to be honest. Actually, the cow should have this, pretty much. So he can actually hit something. Instead of the armor, get this one. Uh, no, it's chosen randomly. One of the attribute scores. Every time you level. I wonder how many levels there is in this game. I mean, even at uh, 8 levels on average, it would give plus 2 to everything. Which is quite nice. Compared to like uh, these that give you. Uh, 
just plus two on a on a stat. This would be a uh, much much better on the long run. Let's go for a mu mutation. I mean, he's an he's a rattling alchemist. If he's not mutating, something is wrong. What else do we need for him? Could go for a Dex. Stuff is still. Hey, Xenic. Yeah, pretty much does it. Uh, I think you could have like maybe two skills, like your primary skill, which you leveled up to max, and then another one. Uh, but you leveled a bit. It seems there's, uh, well. I guess this many points per skill in this game. <laughs> That's like <actually>. sweet. <laughs> but it's good it's continuing now. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I have no idea, Dulcidor, but that's my my guess. I'm gonna go with the tough. I, I like having the extra health. And then the mage. Then a protection for a mage. Mm. And quick. Uh, I wanna get the quick for the mage. So he can spam spells 10% faster. Aura, willpower. Yeah, Aura might be really good for magic points. How much does he have? Yeah, it's like 25% more magic points. I don't know. This one uh, increased your uh, regen rate as well. So maybe I should go for the strong mind instead of uh, aura. Let's go with this. Okay, now we have traits. Now we need stats. Armor skills. Oh, didn't they have like a light and heavy armor in the? First game. Quick just gives you more DPS and makes run drive faster. Yeah. Although sometimes you kinda want the DPS. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the aura. I actually like that. Having more, more to spam. As you increase armor rating, the heavier you can bear. Yeah, maybe. Increases protection by five percent. At two skill points, uh, it's a uh, light armor without penalties, and four for heavy armor with no penalties. More to spam, yeah. I mean, what's the point of spamming faster if you run out of mana like instantly? How many points do I have? Ten. 
What is this? Oh, it randomly rolls those. So I guess we want to... Uh, strength, maybe? And vitality? For this guy. Any character can wear heavy armor, it just comes with penalties without armor rating, yeah. This guy has uh, the weight of the armor reduced by 50% as well, so uh, we are very likely using heavy armor on him. And probably light weapons, and he takes the heavy weapons. You can wield two handed weapons in one hand. Mm. I think that's my barbarian. Ooh. That is also nice. Heavy weapon with shield is the way to go. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, although you cannot be, uh, use them in one hand. I can't remember how big role carrying capacity carry played with heavy armors. Yeah, well, they are gonna wait a lot. Uh, so, having this is quite nice. What else is there? Health for each skill point. Yeah, there is apparently no shield skill. Uh, shield just gives you evasion, mainly. Range of firearms by one. Hm. Four barbarians, I think, from the back row as well. So you could actually do a back row uh, rogue with this, basically. Carry weight, yeah. Three percent crit per each point, and the backstab comes from this. Ooh, that's also nice. <sighs> Choosing those magics are gonna be annoying. So I guess we want one point in the light weapons for the lizard boy. The dual wielding bonus is kind of meh. So are all uh, heavy weapons uh, two-handed? Does anyone know? Or should I go for he two uh, the heavy weapons for uh, with the shield as well? It's kind of annoying because you don't know. Prior, prior to playing the game, what are light weapons, what are heavy weapons, and what spells you actually get in each uh, tree. Hmm. 
Well, let's go with one point in there. Probably best to spread out so more of what you find gets used. Yeah, I'm probably doing that. I'm the clown here. Give him the armor. Let's go with those. So he gets a uh, heavy. And I'm also thinking about taking the accuracy uh, for him. At least one point, because his accuracy is utter garbage. Just leave it for later and go armor. Yeah, but I was thinking uh, since I don't have really armors in the beginning, uh, I could go for more damage or something at the start and get the armor later when I actually get the heavy armors and stuff. I mean, 5% more protection from my loincloth is kind of... whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll take the armor later on. Athletics, health. Maybe. Let's go with that. I'll play my under clan. Actually, I'll, I'll play me even more under clan. You're gonna be my lizard knight. You've doomed yourself. You hope to get uh, a loin cloth in the beginning? <laughs> Got the work for it. Accuracy to three. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take the accuracy point for the Minotaur. So he can actually hit something. We'll make Dalsedura, our Minotaur. Up. You wanted to be a barbarian? <laughs> you, you'll, you'll grow up to a barbarian one day. So. The alchemist rattling. Should probably have alchemy at least one point, I would guess. Wider range of potions. To craft potions, you need uh, herbs and more than puzzle. Stronger healing and energy potions. Level 5 bombs. Hmm. Oh, you can only put one point uh, at the start, okay. So let's get alchemy for him at least. This is the firearms range. Yeah, this gives you the... Uh, where was the accuracy? Gives you the back row attack. We'll get more alchemy as he levels up. Let's take firearms. I mean, he's gonna be using firearms as an alchemist. This entire stream is only going to be character creation, right? Yeah, pretty much, Knight. I think I think you just uh, volunteered to be a rattling alchemist. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sick. At least the next. Uh, Five six hours. <laughs> now let's do the insect the battle mage. Two hours later we have a party. <laughs> yep, 
It's gonna crash once I'm done. Click the start game and boom. Do it again. So the battle mage. So I can choose two of these in the start, I guess. A part of the finally working one. Hmm. Are the spells the uh, same as in the first game? Because I remember uh, like the uh, freezing spell from Water Magic was really really good. Because it stops the enemy in a spot. Other than that I don't really remember what spells were good. They tuned the system. That sounds fun. Go for water magic at least. Kind of want to get concentration as well. For even more uh, magic points and uh, region, at least level 3 in that would be nice. You can find scrolls to get the formulas or you can just spam anything and find them yourself. But you need right level. Like fire 1 and what are 2? That uh, 1? Yeah. That's basically the same as the first game. You could spam the thingies or try to figure out from scrolls. Hmm. I don't know. Should I go just with water magic and concentration at the start? And then branch out to other other magics? Or go with two different uh, spell types immediately and get concentration later on? Hmm. A little success. <laughs> nice. They should really uh, show at least the uh, level one spell. Although this is Grimrock, so they don't care about that. Just throw you blindly into the dungeon and good luck. Fuck it. Let's go concentration and water magic. It's gonna throw snowballs. Very concentrated. Or something if you don't get anything else. You said just one fire. One simple spells worked, but the cast spells that consisted more than one simple. You had to draw lines. Yeah. That is actually a very good idea. Let's go fire, uh, fire concentration. Name the insect boy Rayman. <laughs> so now we only need to do stats anymore. Only ten points of those for each. Let's go like. Foreign strength and vitality. Hmm. I might want to actually drop the athletics. Let's go this way. I oh, yeah, I am still. I am mess. There are so many options. And uh, also the, all these unknown things like what spells you actually get. 
makes me worry about things. <laughs> it's uh, fine, uh, drama carries. Uh, what was the dicks? Accuracy and evasion. Nice trick to get people hooked. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Let's go with those. Hey Bob's then. I think we might have to increase the dexterity on the cow. For more accuracy. Although if I'm... I don't know. If I want to put more points on accuracy or not. Later on. I think he's fine with the... Vitality for now. Alchemist has the mutation? Yeah, he does. He does. It's gonna be random stats points, fun times. Four Lizard Man with Endure Elements and all. Hard old school Iron Man, one save per crystal playthrough. Yeah, that's that's probably what I would do, do as well. If I really want to optimize my party, having like a 50 plus percent resistance on everyone at the start of the game sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> Thanks, Dosdur. That's why I like games like uh, XCOM and uh, Dwarf Fortress and whatever those games, Rimworld, where you can name a lot of people from the stream and just play them. Everything on you guys. Let's give him like at least four more strength and maybe dex. Let's go like that. For you, we want a lot of decks. Do we will have to leave when their character dies? No. <laughs> we just recruit your next clone. Get some HP on him. I think that's that's the only solution for this guy. There. Max will power max vitality mage. Cow has 15 errors, is that only used for magics? I, it might be used for uh, special abilities as well under clan. If that's the case and uh, Actually, we can read. Special attacks and spell casting. Hmm. Special attacks is kind of bad, though. He's just gonna be melee, base melee, and nothing else. Although, so Underclan also has like twenty only. So, they don't really have any. It's only the Rayman who has a billion. This really is going to start in two hours. Well, it's done. It's done. Unless I want to change something. Barbie, so high. HP class you could have for yeah maybe evil force already won <laughs> yeah yeah they're like are the heroes arriving or not they should be here already like a couple days ago
Yeah, let's go like that. And if if we need more uh, energy for uh, for him, we could go always like concentration on one level. Spend all of those. These resistances are silly compared to everyone else. Like zero, twelve, eight, and zero, and he's like yeah, fifty-eight on everything except gold. Let's go with those. Off we go. 